Good day folks, welcome to the MB Wildman channel. On today's video, we're talking about deer setups on public land. So it's super early here in New Brunswick to be out looking for deer spots, but um, here I am anyway, because that's what I do. So the spring bear baits are going, and now I'm switched over kind of into uh, getting mineral out for deer, getting some cameras up, seeing what's kicking around. I know deer in New Brunswick will still kind of be in that winter pattern, but that's okay. A lot of them will still hang out in those same areas where they'll come back to those areas in the fall for breeding and whatnot. So uh, it's not, uh, it's never too early to be out looking for deer spots. One of the things I wanted to share with you is how to locate a deer spot or a potential deer spot, I guess, on a map. Now, I hunt almost exclusively public ground, right? So crown ground here in New Brunswick or um, I don't hunt a lot of private properties just because uh, I guess I just don't, right? I don't have a lot of permissions. Um, for hunting on private property so i just i stick pretty much to big tracts of crown land one of the things that i always look for is a situation i'm going to show you right here i think this is a really good potential deer spot matter of fact i know it's a good potential deer spot because i shot a real nice 10 point in here last year uh, but i want to show you why it is i chose this location so first of all i got a big cut over here probably i mean not a huge cut it's it's kind of uh it might be 50 acres um <coughs> excuse me, might be 50 acres of cut just off here on my right hand side. And then about, oh, I don't know, 30 yards or so uh, of, of woods. And then I've got a little stream. On the other side of that stream, there's a, a completely different type of wood. So it's a, an old plantation from years ago. It's grown up real thick in uh, like spruce and fir. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad here in this video. It's just quite, pretty breezy out today, but so anyway, on a map, when I was looking for this last year, before I actually came in here and set up, uh, what I noticed was that you've got transitions from one wood type to a, a different type of land. So I've got the cut, which would have been mature forest, and then I've got a little stream, and then I've got a different type of wood. So those transitions will lead to natural deer corridors and deer funnels. Having a little stream that flows down uh, through the, like the border of the two different types of uh, woods is in its key because I'll show you why right now when I turn this camera around What you're gonna see is that the woodcutters have to leave a stretch. They have to leave what's called a boundary uh, Water boundary, so you usually get about 25 30 yards of, of the wood that they normally would have cut uh, but, but but they can't get to it because it's too close to the stream or they're not supposed to get to it because it's too close to the stream what it does is it leaves the deer some cover they don't have to be out in the cut they can feed out in the cut but they, they can travel in these lanes and corridors uh, up along these water boundaries. So I'm always on the lookout for um, a cutover that transitions to another type of ground with a little bit of water. Now you put all that together and what do you got? You got a great deer location for mineral because you got water close, you're gonna provide some mineral and they've got feed out in the cut that they've been feeding on all winter and that they'll feed on all summer and all fall. So there's your three keys, mineral, food, and water, all in the same location. And bingo, hopefully we've got ourselves a great deer location. Again, last year I took a real nice 10 point out of here late in the season, I believe it was Remembrance Day. So November 11th, uh, I took a real nice 10 point out of here and I'm back in here today, getting it set up to take a look. And I wanted to share with you the reason that I chose the spot. So here we go. I'm going to show you from the other end. Let me just switch this camera around. Okay, so here's my cutover, right? So I've got, it starts way up at the other end up in there. And then on the other side of those trees, there's an, another larger cut. And then I pan this way. So I've got a pretty good sized cut, kind of hidden here, all surrounded by woods. Not super easy access. I do have to walk in, so that always makes it better, right? So there's the cut, which will provide feed uh, and some travel route. Right over here, I've got this stretch. So you can see where they had to stop cutting the wood up along the edge. And then I've got that much right there of mature before I get to right down there. You see where that tree's broken off right there? Just at the base of that, this way, just a touch, is there's a stream that flows across right there. So I've got a good 25, 30 yards here of corridor that the deer are using to travel in when they feed in the cut and then transition over to water. Now on the other side, I don't, think you could yeah right over there right through that gap you can see it it gets really really thick a really small grown-up fir plantation um, and that plantation is obviously gonna hold deer it's a bedding area but you can't hunt it it's thick as I mean you 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 jump something for a mile before you ever got to it right so it's not really an area you can hunt in but you can pull from it so my setup is there's my new cam uh, my spy point no it's not a spy point sorry it's a tacticam reveal X and there's the cam and here's my mineral setup. 
Now, if you haven't seen what I use for mineral uh, on the MB Wildman channel, then uh, you uh, missed a few videos, so back up. There's some several different videos on the different types of minerals that I use, especially early stuff. Okay, so take a look at those. There's some great recipes for some do-it-yourself stuff. You don't have to pay the store prices. Um, and here I am just along the edge. You can see right here, there's a travel route right along the edge of the cut. There's another travel route that goes right in through this way, going down and across the brook, up into the thick stuff, right through that gap, up into the thick trees. So I've kind of connected. I brought my mineral source right to where those two connect, and that's where I've, I've placed it. All right, well, I know this isn't new to all of you, and but I'm just you know trying to help you out when it comes time early in the season, if you're looking for spots, especially on public land, and you're not really sure you know where to start or where to go, start by looking at a map, locating an area where there's feed, typically a cutover, something like that, a field, uh, a little bit of water, small stream, uh, and then a transition into another type of wood. So anyway, just a real quick video. I wanted to show you what I do and how I'm set up in this particular location and why I chose it. So until next time, happy hunting from the MB Wildman channel.